It's ten o'clock then. Okay, so it's not fully timed. It's just it goes through the game's time. We've already wasted an hour. We've already lost one person. Fucking lovely. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero is going on about is up! Let's get going already! Go! Go! No. I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? Blood. Oh. Blood everywhere. Oh no. Blood and pieces of flesh. Yummy. I will slap the shit out of all those tantrum youblings. That's no way for a person to die. God damn you little shit. <laughs> I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. So very confident. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... Ugh. All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said? Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Right? And after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? Uh, Zero said that everybody who verified had to go. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. Thank you. The ninth man I got however, a gold broke star. that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere. Making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Get on with it, man! Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. <laughs> Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? He's blind, you dumb bastard. Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? <laughs> I see. This oh, is he's correct, right. Yeah, because he's blind, obviously. I thought, yeah, it's the, it's the opposite. It's a curveball. Sorry, guys, I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Oh no! Like, do you have to repeat everything he says? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you, and only you, with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. A red dead redemption! See what I did there, hey! The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number 
beside every number door, you will find a bed. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. Okay. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you and the people who you are about to. Oh shit, so the bomb's inside the. I see, have you put suppositories up people's back end that are gonna explode? It's exploding suppositories! You swallowed it, you like Ah, it. okay. Why do you always ruin it, man? You know, it's like, oh, it's suppositories. Oh no, you swallowed it. Oh, alright then. Fuck. I have no doubt. By the time you read this note, the bar will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. Oh, lovely. You ain't gonna end up shitting it out. In other words, you would be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a bit near. Think of it as a remote fuse, a timer, for the bomb in your body. There is only one condition to call it detonate. That condition is that you enter a numbered door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. If, after that time, the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. Fucking mental. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the red must also verify their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side. Okay. So through a door. Okay, so some doors won't have that then because that one that he escaped from at first in this tutorial, he didn't have to do anything like that. So certain doors will have to do that and you'll see him trigger the the dead. Which is the um the switch to verify that they're in. Okay. And the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is to say, if you can pass through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. Okay. You must also keep in mind that the number of doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. Right. So long as the doors open, the dead will not function. You will do well to remember this. So this might come later on that maybe if I don't enter the room, that's why the other people didn't start beeping because they didn't walk in. Only one person walked in. So that wouldn't trigger it, okay. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. Okay, so either, either you escape or you die. Lovely. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, what acts like the world's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Am I going to end up having to chop someone's hand off in this? I hope so, because that sounds cool. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off or disable the detonator, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. Okay. So it's saying... 
So this is going to be definitely a... Uh, I've got a feeling we're going to be losing more people in this. Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Oh, 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 oh. Shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! Why are you trying to throw up? <laughs> It's not gonna work. There's a bomb inside me. Do 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 do. Oh. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? All right. I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Actually, I, I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah, I saw that, too. I did as well. Me, too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask! It was really scary! Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Hmm. Very suspicious, Devon. Very suspicious. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. Wait, what? So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. Oh, okay. I was going to say that's going to be a bit of a weird one there. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. Now, what he can't see won't hurt him, so if I get a little bit diddly diddly with the pink haired girl, all the blind kid over there won't know shit. That really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Oh, yeah, that would be me and the other girl. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Oh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Uh, yes, I did. Yes. Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell. An old school teacher. We all went to the same school. Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. Could have been. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat. And set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. That's a very good point. Okay. What sort of organization? Some fucking stick organization. It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. Amen to that, brother. Amen to that. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! But nobody's claimed that you knew him. They knew him. I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues.
I thought we were finished with that topic. You see, we're like half oh, ten. We're not even doing anything. We've got till six seconds to get out of here. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my God! Enough! All we're doing is talking. Talking won't solve anything. It can't help us find our way out of here. Are you really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us Very to. Very well proceed. at all. See, we are getting somewhere now. Sure, not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But. But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Okay, so are we going to have to... There's going to be some curveballs. People won't go with certain people. People don't want to go in certain doors. <sighs> okay. Come on now. Don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Okay, so fucking hell. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man, I just bought these shoes. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah, so? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Oh god indeed, these youthlings might tell you. Fine, I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone though. Anyone else willing to come with me? Okay, seven goes into five. I'll go. Snake is two, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, so I can go with them too. Jesus, my head's about to explode with all this. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. Unless I put four and one with them two as well, so they, they can stay together. But she's four leaf clover and ace is one. So ace, ace and four leaf clover can take over my bit. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door Okay, so yeah, that's gonna have to work that way then. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is There we go, yeah, because he's one. Right, I didn't have to think about it. It doesn't for you. Love it. Seven is seven, and Snake is two. And if you add Clover's four in my one, the digital route will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is yeah. fourteen. The digital root of fourteen. One plus four is five. One plus four is five. Tell you what, kids need to play this for maths at school. Fuck algebra and shit. Get them to play this for a few hours. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root going to be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Okay. Eight, three, six, five. What would our digital root be? Eight, three, six, five. Oh, motherfucker. Um, hang on. I want, I want eight, blah, 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 blah. okay, fucking calculator. Hold on a minute. Look at this shit. Okay, so it's eight plus three. Plus six plus five equals twenty-two. 
two plus two. Yeah, two plus two is four. So our route will be four. Just making sure in case there was a, a trick. Eight plus three plus six plus five 22. is twenty-two. So two plus two is four. The digital root of twenty-two, two plus two equals. I smit me. It's four. Add up our four bracelet numbers, and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace, they would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Okay. Are these really the teams I want? Yes. Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. Oh, but then Lotus doesn't... Hang on. That... He... Yeah, no, that's right, because the, the, the bodies behind door five, which everyone else is going into behind door four, which is where me and Lotus are going. Uh, Lotus and um, Sans going. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... Which door? Now, I don't think this will affect the game in any way, I don't think. It probably might just give us a bit more information, but if we're trying to keep everyone happy and trying to keep everyone going, for it'll be four should be fine. Four should be fine. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. There's nothing to worry about. Keep everybody happy. I just need to stay by her side. This should be fine. It's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. Okay, let's do this. Looks like Ace and the others are going. <sighs> Now then, goodbye. Be careful. Ooh. So horrible. I can't. He just walks through. What are you doing? We need to. You hurt. can't see shit, dude. Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake. Let's go. Okay, so we've got them all in that one. Hey, how is it over there? Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? Uh, something's... Beeping. Oh god, that's not good. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? <sighs> Please tell me they're okay. Uh. Hey, there it is! That's gotta be that dead thing! Come on, get over here! We gotta authenticate! The beeping. Yay, they did it! Phew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys! Are you doing alright over there? Yep, we're fine. Oh, hey! I'm gonna tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color's different. Okay. You know how the red was red? Oh, the red was red, yeah? 
Well, the dead is blue. Okay, so red and blue are going to be featured colours then, because we have red and blue suitcases. That makes sense as well. Other than that, it's just like the Okay, red. so we need to find blue if we go across it. Authenticating is the same too. <laughs> awesome! Thanks. That helps a lot. Well, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Whew. Now it's our turn. I'll go first. Okay. We ready? Are we ready? 